So the purpose of this video is to explain, I didn't like in the other videos people made a Fox body 351 conversion. I found a lot of stuff wasn't specific enough. So I decided to make a little short video explaining this. So I have an 88 Mustang Cobra and when I was younger, this is 2008 we're talking, I built the original 302 up to a 347 stroker, forge bottom end, um, you know, spent way too much money building it, stuff I absolutely didn't need, like a racing oil pan for something that I was going to drive, you know, a couple weeks a year. It's been a long time and I'm, I'm tired of it. I want something different. Time to move on. But I'll lose my shirt because this engine costs so much to build that I, there's no way I could sell it with the car. So I might get 12 grand for the car. The engine costs more than that to build. So what I did was I found a parts truck with a crate engine in it. And of course, Kijiji and dealing with people being what it is, um, I actually got it off my neighbor, but you never get the whole story. So I was under the impression that it was a 302, and it turns out that the other engine was a 351. Now, that's my fault for not researching it, but when you see an engine that's been converted to carb, and for the most part, they're a very similar engine, that's an easy mistake to make, and I, I figured it out the hard way. So the reason I figured it out is the oil pan. So when I went to put my 302 oil pan on the 351, the main bearings are bigger, physically wider. So the pan didn't fit. So I had to order a, that's when I figured out it was a 351 Windsor. So you have to order a pan online for a Fox body 351 conversion. So that is an absolute necessity. Um, another thing, the flywheel, you need a flywheel to mate up a 351 to, oh, if it's an automatic, I'm not 100% sure you'd still need, uh, you'd still need the correct flex plate because, uh, the 351 had a bigger flywheel because it was out of a pickup. So I had to go to a, uh, flywheel for a 351 balanced at 28 ounces. And yes, you can get those on Rock Auto and they're cheap. And then I bought a factory Mustang 302 clutch that'll bolt right up to the 351 flywheel. And then the next problem they always say is that the headers, so it's hard to see, but this thing already had ceramic cord coated equal length shorty headers, BBK headers. And uh, because it already had those, it wasn't a very hard conversion. They bolt right up to the 351, but it changes your height because the 351 has an inch taller deck height. So as you can see, I had to extend, I had to extend each pipe, this one about an inch, the other one about half an inch to reach the new locations and I had to do a little bit of tweaking. This is fairly easy with a hoist, but if you're doing this in your driveway, it can be a real pain, I bet. I also had to put a small dent in the steering shaft to clear the header pipes. It's extremely hard to see, but it was very tight, very tight tolerance. And on the other side, I had to put a little bit of a dent in the edge of the header to clear the sidewall, uh, sorry, the side of the engine bay. So this conversion was reasonably easy. Uh, with very little research, I did it. Um, luckily, the engine I started with was already converted to carburetor. So I was converting a carbureted engine back to a carbureted engine, which is very easy. If you're doing a fuel injection to carb or a carb to fuel injection, that could get a lot more complicated. So as you can see, I have a little bit of wiring to clean up still, but a lot of the stuff just fit. Um, I had to use the bracketry off of the 351 because it won't just bolt up to the 302. So if you're getting an engine without the power steering pump and everything, there's going to be a little bit of work to try and figure that out. Apparently you can buy brackets online. You can make an adapter yourself, but uh, it's all out there. It's not a question. It's not even expensive. And then the alternator was off the Mustang that bolted right up. The belt drive was all the same. This thing was... Um, an air conditioning unit, which is another problem, mounting the air conditioner to this thing without buying the special brackets. 
Um, it didn't work in this car. So I've got the pipes just laid off to the side for now. And I'm going to sell the car with the AC pump in the trunk. And I, well, AC compressor, I should say. And I don't really care about that. It didn't work anyway. This thing, it needs some small things, but it's in fairly good shape. Um, the, it was already carb converted, so that was easy. This thing was a fuel injected car originally. And all I took was a power and a tack wire off the main wiring harness and ran them right here. And that's all you need. This distributor needs a power and, a, and you have a tack wire. That's it. So you really need very little to run this thing. Um, I deleted the fuel pump. So the mechanical fuel pump was gone because it was it, the 302 was fuel injected and originally had one in the tank. And I had already converted it to carb, so it only had a spigot in the tank. And I had a um, ProFlow lift pump, just a, something you buy at a at a Napa in Canada or at a, at a Pat's Auto or a generic parts automotive parts store in the states. I imagine it's mounted right next to the fuel tank and. That's it. Like, it's as simple as that. I didn't even change the fuel lines. The fuel lines are adequately sized for, I don't know. I had 450 horsepower and I never ran out of fuel. So I imagine with a 351, you have a lot more range. You could go up to almost a thousand horsepower, but you, as soon as you're pushing that 500 mark, you're redoing the whole fuel system. It's not even a question, but, uh, yeah, this thing fit reasonably well. Like I said, I have a few more things I need to do to it to clean up the wiring and uh, do a little more tuning. I can't test drive it because it's a snow drift outside the door. And this thing, this thing couldn't drive up my driveway when there was snow on it, an inch of snow. So it's not going anywhere right now. But as far as doing the swap and everything, all the stuff you read online, for the most part, people are pretty good, but they don't, they don't explain to you exactly which parts you can change back and forth. And I wasn't a fan of that.